What's up guys welcome to my new video and today we will see how to start MongoDB server and connect our Java project to that server okay so let's get started so first of all we become super user <coughs> and after that go to the directory where you have uh, extracted your uh, MongoDB okay so this is the file and this is the directory sorry and then go inside the directory change directory to bin <coughs> and then type this command dot slash mongod d hyphen hyphen db path and the path of that bin directory okay and then type enter okay. uh, now you can see that it is waiting for the connections on port 27017 and uh, now we need to create a client which can connect to this server okay so for that we need to download a jar file which is the driver for our uh, for, for the database and that driver will uh, connect to uh, connect our project to that to the mongodb database okay so the link for this is given in the description box below and I click on this mongo java driver 3.2.2 jar okay. uh, don't click on the second one okay now go to the project I am using Eclipse and right click on your project and go to properties now in properties go to java build path and in that go to libraries ok then click on add external jars and select the jar file ok now you are ready to code now we need to create a client so type mongo mongo client let us say c o n equal to new new mongo client and the parameters are host so host is the, is the local host and port number is 27017 ok so now we have, we have, we have we are writing this line to connect to the database ok now to get the data database we, we, we have this command this line db equal to con dot get db ok let us say the name of the database is xyz now in that database we have a collection to get that collection we will write db collection equal to db dot get collection the name of the collection is A and to get the result we have db cursor equal to call dot file it will get all the all the records now to display those records we need a while loop while cursor has next display them cursor dot next ok let us see if this works ok so we have these two records all, all this red, red lines are the log information so this is how it works you can write code for uh, inserting uh, records in, into the database and you can also find uh, find those records using different queries okay so thanks for watching guys and do like comment share and subscribe